Hi there and welcome to this week's vlog. It's Friday the 2nd of February, uh, so it's been a while since the last one. Um, just trying to get through the busyness of school really, um, but we, we try and do this regularly as we say. Um, right, this week quite a bit's happened as normal alongside the usual kind of learning within the classrooms. We've had some interviews um, at the start of this week, um, so we've subject to checks and the usual checks and things we, we've we have appointed a, a new teaching assistant and an outdoor instructor which we're really excited about um, and the kids played a huge part in that being part of interview panels and also taking part in um, in some of the lessons as part of that interview process so thank you to those that did that and we'll make sure you get um, positive house points for that so thank you very much Lots of children in Year 11 have been out to college taster days down at Hearts Regional College. This week there's been some departmental reviews, um, so that's us looking at what's going on in in different departments. There's been numeracy in the comedians department. Drama club started again on Wednesday. Um, obviously those of you that go there regularly know that um, Miss Hathaway's not been in school, so that hasn't been running. Uh, but that got up and running again um, this week in preparation for a show um, hopefully at the end of this term. Keller class did assembly today thank you to those people involved in that um, and the other big things to say um, it, there's been a couple of letters that have come out um, or will come out from from school this week um, quite important letters one about our most recent Ofsted um, so if you haven't seen that please have a read um, the full report is available on our website or on Ofsted's website and also there'll be one about the new build um, so planning permission was given just before Christmas, um, so things are starting to starting to happen now, which is really exciting. Um, so look out for a letter about that as well, please. Next week, just things to, to consider or think about. There's senior basketball on Monday for selected pupils, um, so those pupils should know who they are. Um, some staff have got some sensory room training, which is good because we'll be able to use those skills um, more widely or, or even better with some of the pupils within school. And next week it's the Musicians' Assembly where we invite parents in. So if you're a parent of a pupil in the Musicians' Department, please look out for that. Um, into news, uh, Brian E. Gay's Killers have been named, um, which is a co slightly controversial decision. Um, but if you're interested, um, have a read. A lorry carrying gas exploded in Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, and has caused some deaths and lots of casualties, which is really sad to hear. Uh, the government are offering a cash incentive to attract workers to the childcare sector. Um, that's due to uh, a higher number of jobs um, that have been created um, due to the government funding childcare from a younger age, but also um, a sector that's struggling to attract people. So hopefully that works. Um, I currently use a childcare provider for my two and know how hard um, the the people work that that support our young children. So a huge thank you to that sector. And um, water bills are set to rise above inflation. Ukrainian really interesting article on BBC web, website about Ukrainian children um, having to learn how to take part in their lessons in in underground stations in underground places um, because of all the troubles over there. Um, just trying to think about that um, and how that would affect us if we were in that position particularly some of our pupils that struggle with change but also have sensory um, kind of processing difficulties and what that would be like and how hard that must be not just for the children but for the teachers as well um, the, the USA has approved strikes on Iranian targets which is sad news um, and a really interesting little clip um, again on the BBC news about guinea pigs um, in a luxury shed becoming a TikTok hit. Um, so particularly fry class where we have some guinea pigs, you might want to take a look at that. Into sport, England are playing India in the second test in cricket at the moment. Um, probably quite an even day. Um, day one, one of the Indian batsmen um, scored quite heavily, got over 100, well over 100. Um, and England have managed to take five or six wickets, so it's probably about even. Lewis Hamilton, big news, is, is moving from Mercedes to Ferrari. I know we've got um, at least one pupil, Robbie Joe, who likes motor racing, um, so he might be interested in that. Six Nations in rugby starts tonight um, with Ireland against France at 8pm and then England play tomorrow against Italy. I think that's 2.15 if you want to watch that. Great Britain have made a really good start to the 
Track Nations Cup in cycling and have won a couple of gold medals today. And the class focus is quite a few today and um, because it's been a while, so there's some input from Da Vinci class, Ali class and Beckham class. So thank you very much to those classes for contributing to this vlog. Um, that's it for me. Take care and have a lovely weekend. Welcome to Da Vinci Soca Logger. Dick's heart turn our famous pulls up pulls and wicks. So we have been learning about animals and their habitats. A habitat is a natural a natural environment. In, ge in geography we have been learning about different cats and the continent. They live in the Siberian tigers and the Asia. In art we have been doing camouflage drawing. Can you spot the campus in this one? That's just the height of predators, and it is this one. In English, the Vinci class has practiced debating. We have different options on whether zoos are good or bad. I think zoos are good for, for education in children and stopping animals from going extinct. I don't like zoos because the animals don't have a lot of space to run about and I think they are happier in the wild. We also decide our animal enclosures are good for about all the things that a lion needs to survive, like food, water, land and space. Thank you for watching. Welcome to Annie Class. We'd like to tell you some things that we've been doing in school this week in English. We've been finishing off our stories and our cookbook. Two things in our cookbook are cracker stacker and a jam sandwich. On Wednesday, we went to Hartford Heath to look at monuments for our ad stands. We took photos of ourselves in front of the things and we had a little bit of free time on the field. What was the best bit about it? Um, on being on the bus. In maths, we have been looking at how to sort the class into groups such as male or female, who wears glasses, who doesn't wear glasses. Next week, we are going to be looking at ordering ourselves according to age. In pathways, we learn how to get a job and what jobs we like to do and how to prepare for work and we need to learn about things of how to speech. get yes. to um, do jobs, like math, you need to be on a math, do an ingo, <coughs> like what job you want to be, and um, I like to be an accountant, and um, um, everyone likes to have jobs, and we do it on Thursdays with Mrs. Partridge. Why is it important to have a job, do you think? To get um, money, and um, need to, um, give you challenging at work and give me some um, money for food and stuff important like life essentials. My favourite thing about school is the three clubs I like. Football club, basketball club and dodgeball. Which one's your favourite? Basketball. <laughs> Why is that? Because I need to work on my, my, my basketball and that. Thanks for joining us and goodbye from Ali class. Yeah. In maths, we, in maths we, we recently learned about uh, like adding on, we've been doing like um, times in. We did time, I think we did time. We did time, we did well. And we did like. Um, we did this thing when you had to like use a compass to get yeah. to your like spot. Yeah. And we've been doing a worksheet. Worksheets about like so English. We've been learning about um, olden days and things like that. Like, past. So like in the old days, uh, people like, yeah punishments like. Mm -hmm. And people had to take like injections because 
some of these stuff weren't here like now. Until so they took like uh, really like s stuff that but weren't prescripted. Yeah. Like, to stuff, yeah. And um, people. Um, um, and more um, recently in uh, uh, was it sci science? We've been recently learning about like adaptation. Adaptation, animals. yeah, about like different animals but when they live, and we've been going to like to like the flower beds and all those stuff, looking at insects and going to the railway to get some like pictures of insects like worms any other ones and, and having like tip charts so we can see like how many there are yeah and yeah thank you